Well, Peter Thompson is head of UK Electoral Observation Mission on the phone. He joins us now from Bissau in Guinea-Bissau. First of all, tell us from what you can see, has the coup taken place? Is the army now in control? Uh, good morning. Uh, yes, well, this morning the streets are very quiet uh, in Bissau. Uh, it does appear that the military are in control. Uh, last night, uh, it started around 7.30 p.m. local time last night. Uh, we heard a number of explosions. Uh, I would think it likely to have been rocket-propelled grenade fire, followed by uh, quite a lot of gunfire. Um, it, I, I believe that the, pre the offices of the presidency have been um, taken. The whereabouts of the prime minister, uh, who was a candidate in the elections, and the interim president are, are currently unknown, but they have been uh, arrested or taken in some fashion. But so just to clarify, though, while we don't know where the civilian leadership is, you can confirm that they are being held by the military? It's my understanding that they. It's my understanding that they have been taken. Uh, I'm not able to confirm it for certain, but those are the reports. Yes. Tell us a little bit about the situation on the street. Well, uh, last night uh, there was a very uh, large presence of military in the in the streets uh, of the side. The roads were effectively blocked, uh, so one couldn't travel. Uh, th this morning, uh, th this morning, uh, clearly I I'm staying inside. The streets are very, very calm. The place is much quieter than it normally would be, and um, so, so the city is really uh, is very. Um, it's very much, uh, very much locked down this morning. People are staying at home. It's very quiet. So it's quiet. Is it clear if the army are in control now of all the key installations in uh, the downtown Bissau? Well, uh, la last night a number of uh, last night it's my understanding that a number of uh, a number of institutions were taken. The, the for example, the customs building at the port. As I say, the, the office of the presidency. Um, I, I've no reason to uh, believe that that situation has changed. So, so it's, it's my understanding that what happened last night has continued uh, until this morning, and uh, uh, we're waiting. That there hasn't been anything official on the um, state media. The, I do know that the army have taken control of the state media and the state television, uh, but as yet they haven't released anything official. Uh, so, so I'm keeping an eye on that and, and awaiting. Uh, some 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 words from them on on, on exactly uh, who is in control, but uh, certainly the uh, last night's actions were were of the Ghanaian army. All right, is a uh, perhaps coup leadership emerging uh, from this action? Do we know who in particular is in charge in leading this coup? I, I certainly haven't. Uh, I certainly haven't seen anything. Yet. I mean, it's. Um, uh, it, it did seem quite coordinated last night uh, in, in terms of in, in terms of how the roads were, were, were shut off and everything else. So, so it does seem to have been coordinated um, at, at, at the military level, but as yet uh, there's no independent of, uh, of personalities or of specific uh, individuals uh, that, that are behind it. Uh, as I say, not, nothing official has been released on the press. Uh, that is uh, currently uh, something that we're awaiting to hear. All right, we will uh, get back to you when you do hear more. Thanks so much uh, for sharing with us what you know. Peter Thompson.